it's your girl simply anna and i'm back with another one i would ask you to please like share and subscribe to my channel hey everybody okay so i feel like this should be a lot because there's so much information <laughs> there's so much to this story but i'm gonna do my best to just kind of give you the reader's digest version but um the young lady yesterday um her name is reza kingy and I believe she's from Cameroon. Um, she was the um, suspect um, in the Atlanta shooting of three individuals, the um, two of which are named in a lawsuit that she had against her employer. One of the victims who passed away was her manager um, from her former employer. And then also the other victim that passed away was the building manager where she lived. And the engineer was also um, shot who, um, who worked at the building where she lived. But he is in critical condition at this point. Um, she was in court today and it was an odd um, arraignment or excuse me, first appearance. And um, I'm going to go ahead and put it here, but it reminded me eerily similar to be eerily similar to the interaction she had with the police officer in the video I dropped yesterday that was on her LinkedIn profile. But I'm going to put it here and then I'll kind of chime in as I see fit which matches the calendar. I don't have any legal arguments at this time. Um, no objection to the first Honor, story form. If I may intervene. Miss King may, please remain silent, ma'am. All right. Mr. Judge, Show, I don't no have objection any. to the statutory form. Okay. No objection to the statutory form, yes, sir. All right, fair enough. Your Honor, he's not my attorney. Miss King, Ms. King may, you yes. need to remain silent, ma'am. Not sure why she's doing this, but it's not a good idea. All right, but he's not my attorney. Okay, he, I think he's going to indicate that to you shortly. Uh, okay. Ms. King May, it appears that you do not qualify for the public defender. Uh, you have not... assets or income that would preclude them from finding you qualified to be represented by the public defender. It is up to you, Ms. King May, to hire your own attorney, and I would encourage you to do that as soon as you possibly can. If you delay or stall hiring your own attorney, under Georgia law, it is possible that you could be deemed to have waived your right to an attorney under the case of Longo versus City of Dunwoody. So that's actually pretty interesting that she doesn't qualify because of her assets for a public defender. But if she doesn't hire one, then under Georgia law, they look at it as if you've waived your rights to an attorney. That is, I mean, how would they have even known? Well, I guess because maybe she owned the condo. Because I'm thinking, like, how would they have even known that she had assets that would preclude her from being eligible for a public defender? That's odd, but okay. I'll spare you the details on the case. Uh, but suffice it to say, Ms. King May, if you do not want Mr. Cho or Ms. Markowitz to represent you, then it is up to you to hire your own attorney sooner rather than later, okay, ma'am? Um, uh, Judge, may I talk? Uh, no, ma'am. You have the right to remain silent. I would encourage you to use it. We are recording these proceedings. Yes. And anything you say can be used against you, and the DA is right here paying attention with us, okay? Yes, and I would, I would, I would still like to talk and clarify the information provided by Mr. Chill. How come the inmates or those that are before the judge never take the advice when they say, don't talk? Because... Everything you say can and will be used against you. But they talk anyway. I don't understand that. Uh, 
I have not okay. had a chance to talk to Mr. Chill this morning about the very, the very case and um, n about the facts of the case. This is where I think she's going to try to start talking about her lawsuit against her employer that she allegedly killed yesterday. But that wouldn't be a good idea. Lady, there are two people that are deceased. Like, you don't want to even bring up that lawsuit right now. You need to be worried about these charges that they are putting on you. Now, Mr. Chu informed me that I did not qualify. I am not sure what he based his, um, his assertion on, right? Okay, so this was exactly what I was saying before, that I kind of see her position here. How would they have known at this point that she had assets that would pre preclude her from being eligible to obtain a public defender at this point? I'm not sure how they would have known that, but I guess we'll, we'll kind of see where this goes. No, I do not have... Ms. King, May? Yes. I appreciate your position, ma'am, and I'm glad you're thinking about these issues, but as far as their impact on today's proceedings, they're not going to have an okay. I am precluded from setting bond for you per the court's delegation order. And so I'm going to deny bond. Okay. Uh, your case will be heard at a later date before a different judge, either with Mr. Cho or a different attorney. Um, you will have a great deal to say about whether or not it's Mr. Cho or a different attorney. But as far as my jurisdiction and authority to consider bond today, in light of the, the top count of murder, I am precluded by our delegation order from setting bond for you. So he's right there. In the state of Georgia, the defendant is always seen within the first 72 hours of being arrested by the district magistrate court. And on the more serious offenses, like what she's charged with, they have to have bond if they receive a bond set by a superior court judge. May I, so you are may, going to be no bonded for today. I encourage you to hire another attorney or uh, get Mr. Cho or Ms. Markowitz will be following back up with you. And uh, that will be the order today. Judge, Ms. King, may, may you are free to go. May I ask, may, Ms. Uh, King, may you are free to go, ma'am. Come on, uh, Ms. King, man. Come right. on. Good luck, Mr. Cho. So, yeah, that was basically it. I was a little bit surprised by her demeanor in court. Um, really wasn't expecting that. Um, but, like I said, it did kind of remind me of how she acted when she met with the police officer the day before this happened. Um, I don't know. This is going to be a really tricky case, being the fact that she is claiming to be a whistleblower and that she had l litigation going with two of the people who are now no longer with us. So we'll be following along to kind of see what happens here. Until the next one, you guys stay blessed.